Hi folks, Dr. Rob Sivis. I am the Carb Addiction Doc. And what I've seen uh, in practice is a lot of patients take magnesium as a supplement. Now, absolutely fine by me. Absolutely fine by me. But we've got to understand what we're taking. And so when you look at the magnesium um, formulations out there, Number one, we see some magnesium formulations that include seven different forms of magnesium. It's the shotgun approach to magnesium supplementation. And they basically are coercing people into thinking, oh, this must be so good for me because it's got all these different formulations. So remember, magnesium is a cation. It's a two plus cation. It has to be attached to an anion to be electronically neutral so that it can be absorbed. Okay, I'm not a chemist, so you can, you can correct that, but the two have to be connected to be absorbed or not to be absorbed. And there are different compounded formulas of magnesium. You've got threonate, you've got glycinate, you've got um, citrate, you've got oxide, a variety of different um, anions that get added to or, or combined with the magnesium so that it can be handled by the human body. And I try to keep magnesium very, very simple. Okay. So the first question is, do I need it at all or not? And the primary indications for magnesium I kind of break it up into four, okay? First of all, there's a decent amount of magnesium in healthy food, particularly animal products. So for most people, there's more than enough magnesium in the food that we eat, eggs, dairy, beef, that kind of thing. Um, however, and there are some plants that have magnesium, I wouldn't necessarily count on them. There are four indications that I look at for magnesium, and I try to keep this very simple. Number one, acid reflux or heartburn. And if you've got acid reflux or heartburn, the old tried and tested, you remember the old Philips uh, 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 milk of magnesia? Well, milk of magnesium, magnesium, magnesium oxide usually, it's usually a white liquid, that is reasonable for acid reflux to calm down the acid of the stomach. Still an old trusted true thing, magnesium oxide. May constipate you a little bit. The next one is magnesium citrate. Magnesium oxide, not very well absorbed, so it's nice it stays in the gut. Magnesium citrate. Magnesium citrate is not very well absorbed at all. But magnesium citrate is one of the most powerful laxatives you can take. So if you've got constipation an issue, if you've started your carnivore diet, and you've got that plug-and-go kind of phenomenon, mag citrate is a wonderful drug taken episodically for constipation. And you've got to be cool cautious because if you take a little bit too much don't go and try to sit through a three-hour video or a three-hour uh, uh, movie um, or go for a run because it'll end ugly so mag citrate is a very very powerful one uh, when i was doing a lot of colonoscopies we used to use mag citrate as a laxative to clean out the colon before colonoscopies now mag citrate can come in pill form it can come in gel form the ideal for me is a as a laxative is a little bottle, it's usually a little salty tasting, but a bottle of liquid magnesium citrate. My recommendation is buy four, have them at home, drink the first one. If you haven't gone within four hours, drink the second one. And this is obviously, it varies different depending on who you are, but those two bottles should get things going. If you require more than two bottles of mag citrate to have a decent bowel movement, there may be something else wrong. It might be a blockage, it might be some inflammation. Be cautious. Mag citrate, Take that as a laxative, best one out there. Okay, there are others. But those are the two magnesiums that stay in the gut, magnesium oxide, magnesium citrate. Then the next two indications, brain fog, difficulty sleeping, difficulty falling asleep, muscle cramping, it's a big one, fasciculation, muscle cramping. That may, not always, but it may be indicated by a lack of magnesium or magnesium exchange and the best formula there, the one that is best absorbed and best goes to target, is magnesium glycinate. Magnesium glycinate. There are three and eights, there are other formulas. Magnesium glycinate. So I try to keep it very simple. Okay? And if you take magnesium glycinate, you can take it as a capsule. Depending on your height and depending on your existing magnesium concentration, you can go anywhere from 200 up to 400 milligrams depending on the formulation, but don't overdose. And here's the key thing. If you think you may, have, may need magnesium because your, your internal magnesium levels are low, a couple of things. Number one, measure your red blood cell RBC magnesium level. And that level should be between five and six. 
So know what your level is before you make the assumption that, oh, my magnesium levels are, are off, and you go and take magnesium if you're already overdosed. And I see that. These are powerful, powerful uh, elements, and you don't want to take too much for your heart to, to affect your heart health negatively. So know what your levels are. In our practice, we test those all the time. Uh, so know what your magnesium levels are. And then don't overdose. It's about taking it on a regular basis to maintain your levels rather than taking a massive amount to correct a level. And then the final part is when you get your magnesium, your red cell magnesium levels checked, look at it in the context of a variety of other electrolyte uh, electrolytes we can test. We can do a CMP, a complete metabolic panel, to look at sodium, potassium, calcium. All of these, the levels of those all interplay. So if you're low on salt, your body may be holding on to salt and peeing out excess magnesium. You may have plenty going in, but you're peeing it out to protect salt. So you got to look at the dynamics of the human body and understand that the other electrolytes are also very important as magnesium. And then the best place for, for the most part, to get magnesium is in an electrolyte mix. It might be, this is the one I use, something called Relight, Relight Hydration. I use that after my runs. Um, you don't have to use that. There's LMNT, but use a clean formula of an electrolyte solution that may have adequate magnesium in it. So you can take the pill form. You can get it from your diet. You can get it in electrolyte supplementation. Figure out what works best for you, but don't make the assumption, oh, it must be my magnesium because someone on the internet said it was. Know your levels, know what you're doing. And we can check those levels. That's my simplistic way of talking about magnesium. Now, you may have more sophisticated information about other formulas. Leave those in the comments. I'm happy to open the discussion and continue the discussion in the comments. But so many people are taking magnesium because they want to be more, better, and healthier. Understand the dynamics, understand what you're doing to your body, and we can help you to work that out.